Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-1956. Item Number, SCP-1956 Object Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures Each instance of SCP-1956 is to be contained in an individual standard humanoid containment chamber. Each instance of SCP-1956 is to be fed standard rations daily. Personnel tasked with interviewing SCP-1956 must read sheet SCP-1956 Alicomian, which contains SCP-1956 partially translated language. Small items such as culinary mushrooms and cheese may be given if good behavior is maintained. Description SCP-1956 is the collective designation of 53 humanoid beings measuring approximately 0.6 meters in height and 8 kilograms on average. They vaguely resemble human infants with striped clothes of varying appearance covering their entire bodies except for their faces. Testing has revealed these clothes are actually part of their bodies. Even though they possess a varying number of tentacle-like appendages on their heads, they have the same physiological needs as human beings. SCP-1956 are capable of telepathic communication and changing their body structure to generate new limbs. They are also capable of swallowing objects that should not fit inside them. The means through which they achieve this are still being researched. These abilities assist them in their characteristic performances, which involve musical numbers and acrobatic stunts simultaneously. See video log 1956-17. SCP-1956-1 are gasoline-powered robots used by instances of SCP-1956 to play music. They resemble arthropod-like versions of common musical instruments, as well as unidentifiable versions. They seem to possess a rudimentary intelligence and refuse to be played by anyone other than instances of SCP-1956. Addendum SCP-1956-1 Promotional Material of SCP-1956 Performance Herman Fuller's Circus of the Disquieting Proudly Presence The Musician Gnomes of Lagomia Come see wondrous critters with living musical instruments, death-defying stunts and spectacular musical talent. 4. Two Days Only this Friday at the Redacted County Fairgrounds. Addendum SCP-1956-2 Video Log 1956-17 Commence Log Zero o'clock, instances crawl and jump around the walls, grabbing the bugs with their head tentacles and slowly swallowing them. The bugs thrash around as they do so. Zero thirty-eight. Instances chew and regurgitate the bugs, now transformed into musical instruments. They bite the instruments so they don't escape. 045. Instances start playing. Some start to ride their winged instruments and fly around the stage, often in erratic angles and very close to the audience. They finish by colliding with each other. After falling, they break their bones and then move them back into their original positions without showing any signs of pain. 3.30 Several instances climb on top of each other and combine multiple keyboards into a ring. Three other instances climb into it and start tap dancing to play music as the others spin the ring-shaped keyboard. After several minutes, they spin it so fast the instances inside the ring combine into a single, deformed body. They keep playing for several more minutes, despite signs of extreme discomfort. After the end, the deformed instances lift a guitar above their heads and then swing it down with extreme force, crushing them and part of the ground. They crawl out of the debris now separated. 632 instances climb on top of each other to form a pyramid-like shape. At the top are two instances balancing themselves on top of beetle-like instruments. The instances below start spinning and playing as the ones on top try to push each other off into the ground below. The music climaxes as the instances on top jump into the air and hit each other, 
causing their instruments to break into their components, which fly toward the audience's faces while on fire. Before they can hit, the instances grab them with their head tentacles and then swallow them. 8.30 Performance Ends End Log Addendum SCP-1956-3 Interview Log Interviewed SCP-1956-17 Identified as Wally Udom Zitzok Interviewer Agent Forward Due to the incomplete translation of Ludomian, the meanings of some words are estimations. Begin Log SCP-1956-17 can you tell us more about your home? Ah, from Logom. Big place, bigger than this. Stone clouds woven together. Please elaborate. Logom has unknown. Persimmon, rock and metal combined, and we cultivate unknown. Illicos, a unknown. Illican of glowing plants to light the places where there are no lights. Dark almost everywhere. Before Persimmon and Illicos, we were alone and could not travel far. Scared to think of this unknown. Zulums. Glad not born back then. Isn't there a ground below? What? Ground empty. Funny to look at sometimes. Makes head hurt. Others live there, they say, but I don't believe. Nothing to touch, everyone know. That funny talk, I say. Please tell me more about your species. We are young, father slash protector used to say. Many older things out there. We have many colors and stripes around, not just these you see. Dark almost always, so we play music, dance and sing. We don't live more than ten unknown. Herzulums, many monsters around, so we have many brothers. But we are smart, we build traps and study monsters, then build monsters that work for us. They are called unknown, Herzog and Lubox, and some help us play better music. How did you arrive here? Ah, complicated. We don't know everything. But here goes. We received a visit from a group of Yuan Unknown. Moral Hubum Herzulum. But this was not new. You tall guys visited us before, just to hear us play and see us dance. They came from these holes and doors that lead to a place full of books, but we don't know how to go there. The new visitors said they were artists and musicians, a circus. They brought weird animals and toys with them, and more tall guys, but all very different. One was very scary, he had an upside down face. They brought much food and drink too, to have this big party before the bet with our unknown, Nargalums. What was the bet? We had a competition to see best artists. But this time, they did not want a medal or hair tog and blue box, they wanted me and the others you have here. It was best out of three, like Nargalum said. First, there was best music part. We won, you should saw it. Fularis had very bad music, very funny. Then came the dances, and Fular brought these tall guys made of wood with strings on them, and they won. On the last part, there was cooking, and their food was so very good. I'm, I'm sorry, I should not talking like that. I know they not play fair. Only way. Did your leaders agree with letting the circus take you? Yes, they did. After all, they won all that cheese. Mushrooms and hair tog and box we never saw before. Can you believe that? Pular won, and he had still the courage to offer them more, as if we were not enough. Thank you. This is enough for the interview. Wait. You tall guys in white are very smart. We heard you talking about the holes and doors those tall guys with the books could make. Do you think you make some for us so we can go back? We miss our families in our home. We will give you anything. I will see what we can do. End log. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts, leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.